all right, Paul, we just looked at, you know, uh, are all these features on places like the moon or, or Earth uh, volcanoes or impacts? And it definitely appears to be at least the case on the moon. Most of these are from things impacting it. That's right. And as you can see, there are an incredible number of these things. I mean, every inch of the moon has been gardened, they almost call it. And, and, you know, there's craters inside craters and craters sometimes inside those craters. And, and so we should be clear, this actually is video and data from an actual satellite flying around the moon. Yes, which it's is from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. Um, and so there are just so many craters, but not on all of the moon. And that's where it starts becoming a bit more interesting. I mean, if you look at what the moon looks like from the night sky, I turn this image upside down, <laughs> or I would say the right way up. So it's like the view from Australia. Instead of the man on the moon, we call this the bunny rabbit. That's right. The ears and the, and the head. Um, and what you can see is that there are these dark areas, that's which right. we call the mare, yeah. Latin for sea. Well, they're not seas. That's right. Um, just another one of those stupid terminology that astronomers love so much. And if you look at one of these seas, this is a Mare Crisium, the Sea of Crises. It's very smooth. It's very smooth. Yeah, what you can see is there's the highland area, which is the white bits you can see back there. And this yeah. is completely covered every yeah. inch multiple times by impact craters. But in, when in, you get to the, 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 um, the seas, there are craters there, but not very many. Yeah, very, I mean, very few compared to what we saw just around the surrounding area, right? I, it, I mean, nowhere near the same amount of volume. Yeah. If you look at what they're like on the surface, I mean, Apollo 11 landed on yes. one of the seas. Sea of tranquility, as they Indeed. say. I mean, they wanted to land somewhere flat just to make sure they could land. They didn't realize how many boulders there were on the surface. That's right. Well, and they were actually also worried about even sinking into the ground, so they wanted the find the, the smoothest landing spot possible. And they tried some probes, because initially they thought these seas might even be quicksand, so That's they right. might uh, sink. So but they landed some robot probes and they knew about it. But it's pretty flat and boring. You're yep. not seeing craters. But when you get to the highland regions, it's much more mountainous. And the mountains we're seeing here are... The craters themselves, right? They often don't look like nice craters, because it's one crater has been hit by another crater, been hit by another crater. Sometimes, uh, you can see actual craters like these two, um, and there are big ones and small ones, and they're all inside an even larger crater. And so I guess this is kind of the difference when we were seeing some of those images from Earth, right? When there's just one crater, it's very easy to see it's a boundary of the crater, but here, as you said, it changes the surface quite dramatically. So the puzzle is, why would some areas of the Moon have lots of craters and others have few? Now, it's not going to be that meteorites only hit some That's areas right. and others. I mean, the meteorites don't know about which part of the moon they're hitting. It's <laughs> raining down from space. So what do you think could cause some areas to have fewer craters, like they've been hit less times? So, and if we just realize it's probably not the ground itself, so then it has to be some sort of factor of time. Is there something that has changed or uh, the material, the ground is newer or older, which means that we're actually seeing different amounts of bombardment because of the way this and how old the surface is? Yes, if you just imagine that meteorites land steadily over the last umpteen billion years, something that's modern won't have had time for so that, many impacts, that's right. something that's very, very old. Will show, would show a lot more than that newer material. Okay, so this might give us a way to work out the ages of these things. Um, to understand that we're going to have to try and date these things, and the one place we can do that is the Moon.